Okay, this is CNI 1 version 7 to mid term revision C. The network address subred mask first usable for router, first usable host for router, last usable in broadcast. LAN A is this uh, green section. LAN A. One eight one sixty eight ten zero twenty four fields is one last two fifty four broadcast two fifty five DNS LAN is this little section is eight 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 zero twenty four fields is one for the router last two fifty four broadcast two fifty five and LAN B the yellow section LAN B 10.20.0 is the network address, subnet mask, field IP for the router, one last IP 254, broadcast 255. Cabling. The pink lines are not cables, merely guides. There are a total of four crossover cables needed, two for the router network and two for the OSI model. This is the OSI model. Okay, use the copper stray through cables straight through from router to hub. Uh, look at the labels facet one zero on router, hub facet two straight through from switch three one to PCA. From 5.1 to laptop. Okay. From router faster than 3.0 to switch 1.1. One, one. One, one. From switch faster than 4.1 to PC. From switch uh, faster than that, 7 1 7 1 to the server. And here, uh, look at this. Uh, Select each of the network devices around the outside of the circle. Determine which OSI layer number the device label corresponds with. Choose the correct cable type that will be used to connect that device to a switch. Connect that cable from the device Ethernet interface to the port number on the OSI model switch what matches the OSI layer number. For the label with the device. The network device is done as an example. Okay, um, this the network layer of OSI model should be placed on port number three because it's layer three. Okay, physical is uh, layer one. So use uh, copper straight through for for port one 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 port number one transport is four to to four Ethernet four data link is two to port uh, Ethernet 2. Application is 7 for, uh, to 7. Uh, presentation is uh, 6 with use crossover cable between switches crossover cable to 6 and session is uh, Five crossover cable be between hub and switch. Five. OK, 
okay two crossovers on the OSI model and between switches or between hub and switch use crossover facet another one one on the switch and facet another one on the hub and between end device and router crossover facet another two zero and the server two crossovers on this side and two crossovers on this another side but you need a console cable here from PC to switch the console cable from PC port RS232 the serial port to the uh, console port on the switch okay router switches PCs and servers 18% means cables are correct Okay, I got 30 because I I completed this part. Okay, to connect the the layers of the OSI model to the ports. Network is port three, session port five, physical port one, and so on. This port. So I got theory. Now connect the correct cable types. Okay, and connect console cable. Okay. Router configuration. Configure device name. Okay, go to the router. I will do this on uh, notepad. Okay, configure device name, it's a host name, space, and at the end, the banner, keep out, copy this, control C, banner message of the day, paste, enter, enable secret class, enter, encrypt all other passwords, service password encryption line console and bty line console zero login synchronous login synchronous password cisco login password cisco login no timeout, no exit timeout, and the same configuration for BTY zero to four. Okay, line BTY zero to four and copy this. Uh, you can add exit to exit the line console. Okay, um, okay um, banner enable secret class service password encryption line console login synchronous password Cisco login no exit timeout exit line BTY 024 login synchronous password Cisco login no exit timeout exit hostname copy and paste on the router command line interface enable configure terminal paste okay the host name is r r-1 r-1 case sensitive uppercase okay configure fast ethernet 1-0 the fast ethernet facing lan a 1-0 the fast ethernet 1-0 and there are a command describing what the interface is used for for example description phoenix lan a okay description description uh, lan a lan a lan a enter first usable ip address in and sublet mask from lan a 
will be the default gateway for PCs. For LAN A, the 182.168.10, the first is 1. IP address 182.168.10, 1. Use this subnet mask. Okay, and mm, turn on the interface, no shutdown. Enter, exit. Now you can see exit to exit interface configuration mode, exit, and you, you are now on global configuration mode. Repeat the above process for Fastenet 2.0 using the IP addressing for DNS LAN. Okay. 2.0. Up a row to repeat previous commands to zero. Description and the description is uh, DNS LAN. DNS LAN. The IP address for DNS LAN for router use the first IP address. Hey, hey, hey. 1.25.25.25.0 the same subnet mask for all networks and enable the interface no shutdown up arrow to repeat previous commands exit repeat the process for facet net 3.0 using the IP addressing for Lambi okay 3.0 for the yellow section for Lambi Three zero. Description is Lambi. Lan dash B. IP address ten twenty thirty one. The fields. IP address ten twenty thirty one. Twenty five twenty five twenty five zero. No shutdown. Exit. Save running configuration, okay, and copy running config to start up config. Enter, enter, enter. Okay, and you should see okay. Workstations and servers. Select each PC and server, and when the graphical user interface box opens, choose desktop tab and IP configuration. Using the addresses above or on the diagram, enter proper values for IP address, subnet mask, default gateway, DNS server. For DNS and Cisco.com servers, use the IP address on the diagram 8888 and 10, 20, 30, 40. Okay. Okay. Fields. I start with D DNS. Okay, this is DNS server and should be 8888. Okay, and desktop IP configuration, IP address 8888. 8888. Okay, because it's placed on this network, you have a range from 1 to 254 one is used by the router with the topology says and the instruction says use 8888 use this subnet mask to verify to verify zero the default gateway you know for this uh, network is the router the first 8881 the dns server is itself 8888 okay and now configure uh, cisco.com server and use this IP 10.20.30.40 10.20.30.40 for this uh, server desktop IP 10.20.30.40 okay because you know it's placed on yellow section yellow section is LAN B you have a range from 1 to 254 
but instruction says use 1023 before me. Use this subnet mask the same in the network. And the default gateway is one. 102031. And the DNS is this, this DNS server 8888. Okay. And now configure the PCs. Okay, go to PCA, desktop, uh, instructions are not uh, specifying the IP, but you can use um, the green section is LAN A. You can use a value. Uh, you have a range from 1 to 254. One is used by the router, so you can use 182.168.10.10. Subnet mask, you know, is this. The fall gateway is the first, is 1. 182.168.10.1. And the DNS, you know, is placed here 8888. 8888. Okay. Now the laptop and in the same network. So I use a tank. You can use 11. 182.168.10.11. Subnet mask, default gateway 182.168.10.1. DNS server 8888. Okay, and now, now PCB uh, is placed on yellow section, LAN B. You have a range from 1 to 254, so you can use 10. 10, 20, 30, 10. Uh, 40 is used by the server, 1 is used by the router. I will use 10, subnet mask, use this, 285, 285, 285, 0. And the fall gateway, 10, 20, 30, and 1. OK. And the first IP for the router is the default gateway, DNS server, 8888. OK, the server already configured. Switches, configure device name. Okay, I will use a notepad. Configure device name is host name. The banner keep out is this. Enable secret class is this. Encrypt passwords this. Line console BTY 0 to 15. Line console. Login synchronous password Cisco login, no exit timeout. Login synchronous password Cisco login, no exit timeout. BTY 0 to 15, line BTY 0 to 4, change this 0 to 15. Login synchronous password Cisco login, no exit timeout. Okay, this. Very nice, and copy this to the switches. Okay, the difference is uh, line BTY is 0 to 15, not 0 to 4. 0 to 15. Okay, go to switch A, command line interface, enter, enable, configure terminal, paste. Okay, and the host name is this switch A and SW uppercase A, case sensitive. Okay, be careful with the name. Uh, do not configure the hub. Okay, uh, another switch, switch B. Okay, it's locked. Okay, uh, okay, and remember this connect a console cable from PCB1 to switch B. Later, you will use the terminal icon within PCB1 to program switch B. Okay, try to access switch B command line interface. Configure is locked. So go to the PCB, close this, and go to terminal and 
bits per second 9600, data bits 8, parity none, stop bits 1, flow control none, ok. And you are on the command line interface of switch B, enter, enable, configure terminal. Paste these basic settings, copy, then paste. And set the host name the, and set the host name SW B SW B enter. Very good. Banner enable secret service password encryption line console BTY host name. Very good. Configure management interface on VLAN one. Include a statement describing what this interface is used for. Use any valid IP address and sub subnet mask from the range for the LAN. Turn on the interface. Configure a default gateway, the first usable address to the router port on this LAN. Save running configuration to save the configuration. Okay, go to switch. A interface VLAN 1 description is placed on LAN A, LAN A, IP address. Okay, select an IP address for LAN A. Okay, 1, 10, and 11 was used. You can use 2. The second, 182, and 68, 10, 2. The same subnet mask. Now shut down, exit, and configure IP space default dash gateway. The first IP 182.168.10.1. Is this? Okay. Okay, now on switch B. Okay, locked. Uh, go to PCB on this terminal. And this switch is placed on LAN B, LAN B. One is used by the router, 40 by the server, and PC use 10. So you can use number two. Interface, VLAN one. Description, LAN B. Description, LAN B. IP address. Okay, you can choose on LAN B the second IP available 102032. 102032. The same subnet mask. No shutdown. Exit IP the foul dash gateway. You know it's the first 102031. Okay. Save running configuration. Save running configuration. Okay, go to switch A and copy run to start. Switch B and go to PC and copy run to start. Enter, enter, enter. Testing verify your configuration is good by pinning from each workstation to the other two workstations, the servers and both switches. Uh, go to PCA, go to command prompt, ping to this laptop, this is 11. 182.168.10.11. Ping to the server, you know, 8888. Very good. Ping to PCB. Mm, close this. 1020 10. Ping 1020 
success ping the server 10 20 30 40 10 20 30 40 success ping switch b switch b remember is number 2 10 20 30 2 Success, repeat, ping switch A, switch A is uh, 182.168.10.2, 182.168.10.2, very good. Cisco.com should be available from workstations, web browsers, or simply from PCA ping Cisco.com. Success is uh, is the server 10, 20, 30, 40. Because if you access the DNS server, go to services and go to DNS, you can choose this uh, assignment 10, 20, 30, 40. IP for cisco.com so that's why when I ping cisco.com DNS translates to 10 20 30 40 and ping to the server from PCA ping to the server use also use the web browser this web browser And use cisco.com header. Very good. Uh, check results. Okay, uh, go to check results to be what is missing because I got 96%. Uh, connectivity test. You need to do more connectivity tests. For example, from PCB, make more connectivity tests to another devices. Or from laptop, ping the server and other devices. Okay. Thank you, thank you very much.